Recently I finished watching one of documentaries on George Michael. He was the person that I liked from my young years very, very much. And just during the time, I found out that not just he was a kind man with a great voice, but he was so intelligent. I was listening to some interviews that he was giving when he was 18, and I was like, my God, what, what a thoughtful mind, what, what, what a great mind this man has. And in the documentary, he spoke about very important and hard times in his life and how he coped with that. And in a way, this inspired me to recall these thoughts of mine as well. So he showed in the moments of uh, deep grief to great strength. And it reminded me, in a way, of the things that I was hearing through my life. That I needed to go over that grief. And I didn't know. That that was the first time that I found out, actually, how mine is magnificent. And how I am blessed uh, to, to be able to do that. So it is the point when you have such a great grief inside yourself, but the life is asking from you to act. So you don't have exact time to express that grief, to really cry and have the time of sorrow or, or simply to go through the situation that is challenging. And after everything, a lot of my friends who was witnessing this, they, they would come to me and say, oh, how come did you were like that? And I said, you know, life was asking for me to show up. I didn't have any other solution. It was like, you need to act that way. So life is calling you. And you just answer, there is no other way, there is no other solution but you to show up. You don't have like a special armor, you don't have like um, special powers, except of the blessings and that I think you are given by birth, that strength. Or I think that I was witnessing like people in my life, my family, very close family. And I learned how those people were acting with honor and, and with the pure heart and with such a strength in unavailable hard situations. And I think that it is a part of inheritance because I can recognize in, in my cousins as well. So the only thing I can say, it is like a really, because I don't know what to find, like how to find, in fact, like the better word, that blessing, that you are just being blessed. Because you are going through such a great hardship without medicating yourself, without alcohol, without being drunk, without using drugs, without going crazy completely. So I said so the only word I can use to name this is blessing. I have said that word a couple of times, but this is how I feel. So really, we don't know how strong and beautiful we are until we have like a challenging time. And they show us, and then when we look back, for instance, we have now a situation that is not like milk and honey, but we can just look back on the situation that we have been through, young or old, and say, hey, you have been through all this, and you have get over all this. <laughs> this is like a funny thing. This is like nothing. Another thing that I, that I learned is like, we are going through 
constant rebirthing of the soul. It is like a kind of phoenix life of the soul. So burn to ashes, into that grief, into the big sadness that you have given, and then you're rising up from all these ashes with all your strength, with all your new glory, and you're keeping on, on living the life to, to, to the fullest, but in, not in that crazy way, but in a positive way, like it changes you. And what is also nice that, that I can notice is that even though you have been through a certain challenging and hard situation, your soul and your heart stayed so soft and beautiful. So your heart and your soul didn't harden through that process. So for everyone who needs to hear this today, know that life is, is beautiful with all these nuances, with all those colorful situation and whatever that we go through at the moment is only for our highest good. Once it happens, you will not be the same and you will never have that feeling that you need to go back to the previous stage because you have outgrown it. It is like that you are having that clothing of a 10 year boy or girl and now you are 20 <laughs> so you're all growing by far and that that is the beauty of life and i think that for that we should be grateful and to cherish it like a priceless gift